Crying is not going to fix the problem. I'm pretty sad, actually. really cry about this situation right now but it's not going to fix the problem crying is not going to fix the problem i broke my lens on my favorite camera and it was my newest camera and it's pretty expensive i opted not to get the insurance because i felt like i was pretty careful with my things but that was a dumb move. Like right now, I just feel, I feel a little incomplete. I feel really empty. Like my camera, anybody that is a content creator will tell you that cameras become a part of their bodies. It's like another arm, you know what I'm saying? And right now I don't feel complete. I'm pretty sad actually, but it is what it is. I need a Coke. That's what I need. I feel like if I get a Coke, everything will be all right. I am pretty clumsy right now today. I think it's almost that time of the month and I just feel like. Yeah, it was that one of my friends. She kept dropping everything. She touched. See what like, I'm saying? Stop touching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. We call it vertigo. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. You just have one of those days. I am, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't take it apart. You just, you know. It's just one of them days. Like Monica used to say, it's just one of them days. <laughs> I forgot about that thing. <laughs> the good news is, I have another camera. This is one of my um, backup cameras and I have not touched it in a minute. All right, so I just ordered some groceries from Kroger and I'm very, very upset. I asked for three pounds of tilapia and I got back three pieces of tilapia. It's like, it's it's a big difference. It's a huge difference. It's like, what, what am I gonna do with this? I can tell right away if I'm gonna have problems. Like this chick right here, I already knew. I knew I was gonna have problems with her. The reason why I knew I was gonna have problems with her because of what her profile picture looked like. Her profile picture looked like she didn't care. So if you don't even care about yourself, I know you don't care about my stuff. I feel like it's a little bit, is it too bright in here? Well, I can't adjust the settings because this is an older camera and I have forgot how to adjust the settings. I apologize if it's an issue. Hey babe. Yeah. You feel like going to the store right quick? What well, I got to do? Aw, babe, you're so sweet. Just a fish? Okay. Oh, you're so sweet. For real? I didn't have you doing that. I mean, I knew you was gonna do it, but I thought you was gonna be like, really frustrated. Sure, I still am. <laughs> he looked up again. Yeah, actually, I'm looking at this camera, and it's not that bad. No, what about the, uh, the recording quality what you mean you know how is it recording like the record mode is it um i would have to i would have to see is it what is it what oh okay don't you worry know like what kind of mode you know is it in? i don't know i'm i'm just using this until um next week so okay then i have my regular camera Still waiting for Hubs to go to the store. He has not left yet. I'm trying to be nice. I'll just start on the potatoes.
Never, what, what is material stuff? Can we just, what? Plastic? Like, what is, what, it is, like, stretches, but it does that and then it snaps. I just can't stand it, right? Like, there are other materials made of, you know, things that are made of glass, things that are made of wood, things that are made of paper, even, that are better than... I made the salad already and now I'm getting ready to do this fish y'all okay so basically since I had so much fish left over I decided to go ahead and put some in the oven this is gonna actually be for Janelle um she likes baked fish so I'm gonna put some garlic powder on here some Creole seasoning. One trick that I that I use because I can be a little heavy handed with the salt and everything. I only salt one side. I know, don't come for me. <laughs> I only salt one side. And I'm just going to move it around. Just like that. Okay, yeah. This is the this is the breader that we're gonna use. Stop laying that. A little thick so it can stick. I'm just gonna cut. You know what? I cut it in half. So I did it like this, and then I kept this piece like this. You know what I'm saying? With the slit, I just. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. All right, so now they all look like you that. Voila. It ain't gotta be perfect. It ain't gotta be perfect, boo. We just want a little bit of seasoning. We don't want a whole lot because y'all know I can't have salt all like that. So if it's seasoned about like that, I'll eat that. You know, I can't have a whole lot of salt. <laughs> Ready to do our tartar sauce, white wine vinegar. Dijon mustard, mayonnaise. Okay. 
using some mayonnaise and fun fact i hate mayonnaise i do not eat it i will not eat it some sour cream not that much dijon mustard a little bit of that okay white wine vinegar A little bit of that, some pepper, a little bit of pepper, and then we're gonna put some Himalayan salt. Okay, and let's stir this around. A little bit of sugar. I'm going to hit it with a little bit more vinegar. Okay, you ready to eat? Yes. <laughs> Everybody just wants to know how does it taste? Okay. <laughs> you know? And you know, you can be honest. No, it's good. Okay, yeah, break open that fish right quick. It's hot, isn't it? I wanted it to be hot. So, uh, but, okay, so now I want you to try the tartar sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Aww. Mm. Why'd you like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah.